everybody. Today we're here in the kitchen and we are going to talk to you about how you can make musical instruments in your own kitchen. So the Bible says to make a joyful noise unto the Lord and Lincoln and I are going to do that with you today. So Lincoln, demonstrate the first thing we're going to make, please. What do you have? What does it do? Okay. So we're going to make a maraca egg, and the second thing we're going to make is a rain stick. Lincoln, please demonstrate. So you have to turn it slowly, and you listen to the rain as it comes. So we're going to make these with you today. So please use your toddlers to help you. So Lincoln, we're going to make an egg. So what you do is you take your egg. Now, whoopsie. Um, we have this particular egg has some holes. This, but Lincoln, we're going to cover up the holes. This first one is so simple. All you're going to do is shake your shaker. So you just cover up your holes. I had pink to match. And look, that's what you're going to do. You're going to shake your shaker. So we're going to pour. I just have a, a mix of noodles and rice here um, that the kids don't eat. So that's the other thing. Pick something in your kitchen that is not gonna used. It can be rice, it can be dry pasta, and you're just gonna shut it. And then for safety's sake, we're gonna go ahead and cover it even more with our washi tape. So we're gonna just go right around the middle because you don't want your child to be shaking this and then have it split open. So Lincoln, keep shaking your sample. Guys, this is hours of fun in your home. And then look, now it all the pink blends together and it makes a little bit of a louder noise. His has rice, listen again. And this is the noodles. Okay, shake two. Okay, so that's your first one. Your second one is the rain stick. And if you've ever heard music where you might hear this in it, it's actually a sound effect. Sometimes people use this as um, a sound effect in a movie or whatever. Um, what you're gonna do is take your paper, your construction paper. I have some really cool scrapbooking paper and I had pre-measured already. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it right like this. And this is, this is just the decorative part of it. You don't have to do it this way, but we're going to. And then, because it looks a lot prettier to do it this way than just a, a paper towel roll. So the cool thing that I found is if you take your pipe cleaner and you wrap it around your pencil, you're gonna curl it up like so. This is for you. You're gonna curl it up like so and you're gonna wrap it around your pencil, whoopsie, and then you staple it inside of your paper towel roll. Now in advance of today's event, oh, where'd you go? In advance, I went ahead and made this one and I realized that only one pipe cleaner, which was the recommendation on 5minutecrafts.com, the pipe cleaner catches the rice and it slows down the, um, the movement. But you, they only recommended one. So we're gonna do more than one pipe cleaner. And you, that's called a stapler, just like that. So you do your pipe cleaner, you twist it just on purpose so that it's going to get um, that the rice and beans are going to get caught inside of the tube. Okay, so once you've done that, you take your glue stick, and now we're going to make. Here's the glue, and you can get your toddler to help you. Go ahead and put the glue down, sir, on the white paper. You see how nice that is, and then you go, just some straight lines. Oh, what a big helper. In the interest of time, you can help your toddler, but if you have nothing but time, like many of us do during a quarantine, you can simply take all the time you want. So why don't you practice on this? And I'm gonna practice right here. So what you do is you just put your paper down, you have a nice firm seal, and then you're going to use your washi tape. Now, Folks, you can use duct tape, you can use clear packing tape, you can use whatever you have. But the washi tape is actually gonna serve two purposes. It's gonna help keep this sealed, and it's also gonna shut the end of your tube. And if you're doing this at home, you can take some time to make it look nice and neat, but here's the fun part. Now you're gonna take your rice and your beans, and you're Listen, you wanna hear if you have enough. I don't think that's quite enough, so I'm just gonna put a little bit more in. 
And again, you want to make your, your tape be really, really sturdy because nobody wants this to come out of the other side. That would be what we would refer to as a disaster. So when you're done, you're going to take your tape and it is going to shut like that. And now you have the rain. Did you hear it falling slowly? Because it's catching on the pipe cleaner. Listen. We slowed down the sound. And so your toddler might be like mine and he's just playing with glue and that's fine too. But what your goal is, is that they're gonna have all these tools that they can use. You can just shake it like a maraca. And the amount of rice you put inside changes your sound. This is a deeper sound because it's more. And then you have your shaker. You wanna take a shaker? Yes. So. Let's thank the people for watching us and make some music. Okay, so say thank you. Thank you. We'll see you later. Thank you.